Um, yeah, I'm right. Not, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not the uh, After Michael Alessami vanished in the United States, many people want Angela Deem and Michael Il Sami to be taken off of 90 Day Fiance. Happily Ever After? Season 8. Over Facebook, 56 year old Hazelhurst, Georgia, Grandma Angela fell in love with the much younger Michael from Nigeria. Michael, a 30 year old Lagosian, had flirted with Angela on Facebook. Angela had previously been married and had two daughters who were parents to three children, a 90 day fiance. Before the 90 day season 2, Angela flew to Nigeria to meet Michael in spite of the warning signs. The age and cultural divide between Michael and Angela caused significant ups and downs in their relationship. In addition to accusing Michael of having a wandering eye and having a violent temper, Angela was unable to conceive. After overcoming challenges to have Michael's K-1 visa accepted, Angela married him in January 2020 in order to pursue a CR-1 visa. Michael deceived Angela in the interim by engaging in an internet liaison with a younger lady. Even so, after seeing Michael for therapy on 90 Day, the last resort, Angela decided not to file for divorce. When Michael vanished from sight barely two months after coming to the United States from Nigeria, it made headlines throughout the world. On Monday, February 26, 2024, Angela went live on YouTube with her friend and 90 Day Fiancé blogger John Yates via Daily Mail. Michael has been missing since the 23rd, stated Angela, we cannot locate him and the cops are involved. Michael, according to Angela, left everything behind, including his ID, clothes and toothbrush. Angela claimed that she reported Michael's disappearance to the police because she thought he had planned it. But after barely seven hours, Angela and John posted on YouTube again to say that Michael had been located. Breaking news, shouted Angela, all I can say is that I'm in complete asterisk 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 shock right now. But not really. According to John, Michael was secure. Following the initial police live stream, Angela received a call from the authorities. John referred to Michael as a Yahoo boy after Michael's identity had been confirmed, referring to what he had done when the police had found him. He said to the police that he didn't want Angela to know where he was and that he was afraid for his life. Five days prior to his disappearance, Michael and Angela were reportedly together in New York. No one was locked up here. John emphasized in response to reports that Angela had mistreated Michael. Feeling devastated, Angela called Michael a lying sh asterisk asterisk. When Michael was lying and skulking behind her back, she claimed she didn't understand why people believed she was not human. Prior to contacting the police, Angela is said to have also attempted to get in touch with Michael's family, but her attempts were unsuccessful. In an earlier, since-deleted TikTok, Angela begged her followers to assist in finding Michael while appearing powerless. In a joint post with John, Angela's Instagram followers were even given a phone number to call in order to obtain more information on Michael. Whoever found Michael would win a $10,000 reward, according to Angela. At the time of Michael's disappearance, fans suspected foul play, believing he was a part of an immigration fraud to obtain U.S. citizenship. If it became out that Michael was con artists, Angela said she would deal with him by reporting him to immigration. Despite her love for him, Angela said on the previously stated YouTube livestream that she would not be giving Michael her back because of what he had done which had shown that he don't give a asterisk 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 asterisk. Announced that she was going to file for divorce from Michael and that she had three lawyers. Furthermore, Angela alluded to knowing someone who had assisted Michael in going missing. She disclosed, Nigerians, those who supported him, get him a good lawyer because mine is $10,000, a asterisk 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 hour. A week following his discovery, Michael communicated with Instagram bloggers Kibitz and Kiki and shared a video with them. Fans of 90 Day, Fiancé were hoping Michael would divulge specifics about his relationship with Angela, but he was speaking about something different. The reality star added in his video that he was not using any social media platform at the moment and that he wanted to quickly let his supporters know. Michael hinted that he might later rethink his choice. Angela's 90 Day Fiancé a happy ending. 
It's unclear from the season 8 premiere whether Michael visited America. She was getting ready to board a plane to Nigeria to assist Michael with his visa interview when we last saw her in 90 Day Diaries. Michael claims that they have been waiting for the visa interview for three years as he and Angela are seen in the trailer walking to the consulate. Angela says to the cameras, 